Okay, we're still on the west side. Um, this is a good example of where we are getting alternate water sources. Uh, this is an underground well, which is basically a, a hole drilled in the ground. Uh, you install a pump and you extract water from the ground to irrigate your land. Well, here you can see on one side of the well is a fallow field, and on the other side is a field of Pima cotton. Why aren't both fields being farmed? Well, this well can only provide enough water to sustain the Pima cotton crop. So this grower has decided to fallow this field and to farm this field. People say, well, you shouldn't be farming cotton, it takes too much water. Well, who likes, who likes cotton shirts? Who likes cotton sheets? People don't realize the San Joaquin Valley is the most productive area to grow Pima cotton, and basically the only area in the United States that you can, you can grow Pima cotton and make any any sort of uh, profit, any sort of livelihood. So, you know, you go to the store, you go to your Macy's, your Nordstrom's, your Saks Fifth Avenue, and you buy your, uh, you buy your Pima cotton shirt, you buy your Pima cotton sheets, your pillowcases, they're nice and soft, it's a higher grade cotton, um, and you wonder, where does that cotton come from? Well, it comes from the west side, it comes from the San Joaquin Valley. So we're using the water not only to grow your food, but we're using it to grow cotton that they use to make your shirts, your sheets, your pillowcases, your designer suits, your designer uh, dresses. Everything you buy that says Pima Cotton, if it's U.S. grown, it's, ca it's coming from the San Joaquin Valley. Here's a perfect example of a Pima Cotton field which has just recently been defoliated. It's a process, they spray a chemical on the cotton which dries the leaves, the leaves fall off and it opens the, the, the cotton bowl which contains the cotton so that we can harvest it.